Now, this issue is um, being, is prompting some community access, uh, some community activists to say that there are some broader issues at play here. They suggest that many police officers are uh, being investigated by the SIU for allegations of sexual assault, but there is no information about just how many because the SIU doesn't make that inf information public until after the cases are closed. Police officers are being investigated for sexual assault in the dark. This is completely, completely unacceptable. We can't hold police accountable if we don't have basic information about how often and where and when they are being investigated for sexual assault allegations. Renee and Cole, along with other community members, are asking for those types of investigations to make, be made public, along with five other demands. They also include calling for police headquarters to remove their recently installed security checkpoint and for the police services board meeting to be moved to another location. The police services board is there to hold the police to account. So what I want to know is, why do police control the building in which meetings about their accountability are being held? I should tell you, the idea of moving uh, police services board meetings uh, all over the city, leave alone just to City Hall, has been under active discussion for some time, and I would fully expect that in late 2017 or even into 2018, you will see meetings held not only at City Hall, uh, as has been done in the past, but also in other parts of the city. Just because you have the meeting somewhere else, whether it's at City Hall uh, or in some place elsewhere in the city, does not mean that I don't support, which I do, the security measures that have been undertaken at police headquarters. And we also spoke with the police board chair, Andy Pringle, who says that staff are ac actively working to find locations in North York, Etobicoke and Scarborough for some meetings. But that doesn't mean that some won't continue to happen here at police headquarters in the future.